working on it. It's a 12 Chevy Sonic with a 1.8. Uh, customer complaint is a check engine light. They just had it at another shop. And after they left the dealer or shop, wherever it was, uh, the engine light came on. So let me take you to scan tool. Uh, we have a PO171 fuel trim system to lean. Uh, trouble code stored. Uh, take you to some data pids. Just looking at some freeze frame data. Uh, this is my mass airflow sensor. 0.11 grams per second. Uh, I want to see my fuel trim. There's my long term fuel trim. 34%. That's probably our problem. Here's our short term. Negative 4. My map sensor. Hmm. Well, looks like our lean condition shows on the long term right there. Uh, here's my fuel trim data. Short term looks pretty good. My long term, 13%. Eh, a little on the higher side. I'd like to see it within 10 at least, maybe 5. I think a vacuum leak would really be affecting our short term right now. And then it would clear up, but short term looks pretty good. my O2 sensor. Looks good. Long term, still a 13. Mass airflow, there's a little feels a little shaky <clears throat> and mass airflow is jumping around a little bit it seems pretty steady um, I also have my calculated I don't know, maybe if that's like a specified or I think this also has a map sensor so maybe it calculates that off the map sensor I'm not sure let's go uh, let's do a visual first see uh, if we see anything I don't really hear any vacuum leaks that's the fan kicking on um, if there is a there's a map sensor right back here. The mass airflow is right here. Um, we still could have maybe an air leak here. Uh, low fuel pressure maybe. Uh, it'd be nice and easy to check with a Schrader valve right there. Just any type of intake leak would be unmetered from the mass airflow sensor, but the map sensor would pick it up. We could have <clears throat> maybe a leak back here. You know, in between the, the mass airflow sensor and the map sensor. Spray a little bit of brake clean around, see if I get any fuel trim change. Uh, we can do that, keep it simple for right now. Alright, I just got a little bit of brake clean here. You gotta be careful doing this hot engine. I'm just gonna spray a little bit.
All right, so I'm spraying some brake clean around this intake tube, and I'm definitely getting some fuel trim changes. See, my long term has come down to about seven. Long term dropping. I'm just spraying a little bit over here, mainly on that rubber boot. That hose is split right there. Open that up. As soon as I open that, I could hear my idle fluctuate a bit. There's, oh yeah, look at that. There's my short trim. Adding a ton of fuel. My long term is back up. There we go. Yep, that's what it is. Unmetered air leak in between the mass airflow and map sensor. This is probably gonna be a special order part. See my mass airflow reading? I'm gonna open this up a little bit. This is just changing that reading. Here's my short term, or my long term is up to 30. And it's got my short term back around stoic. That's the long term's job is to keep the short term close to zero. And that's what that is. Sweet. Well, that wasn't so bad. Sometimes it's easy to keep it simple. Big hole in this intake hose. One meter air leak. That is definitely my problem. When I shut this hose, I'm gonna open it. You can see my short term starts adding a ton of fuel. I just had a little stumble here. My long term is going up, my short term is going up, and then when I close this hose, try to seal off this leak, you can see my short term. Should go super lean or super negative to counter this long term, and then my long term is gonna start coming down. Yeah, negative 14. And my long term is going to come down, so definitely need this intake hose. A little bit about fuel trims and unmetered air.